What's up, brothers and sisters? Welcome to another special edition of Catalyst Sweepers TV. Now, let's get sweeping. Okay, you might say, Celine, what's going on? What's wrong with you? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I was just in prayer, and I just received a conviction. Um, I found this scripture. It's 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. This paper out the way. First Peter chapter four verse eleven, and um, it reads in the NIV version. It says, "If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory and all power forever. Amen." You'd be like, Selene, what, what What? do you mean? How is, what are you talking about? Well, I, I've, I've never really read this scripture before, but I have used this scripture to um, put on pause or really just question what God wants me to do in my life. I'm just going to break it down for you. It says, if anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. And that's always been my thing. If I say anything, if I do anything, if I if I go to minister anywhere, I always want to make sure I'm being used as an oracle of God. I don't want anything to be of Celine. I don't want me to just be singing just to sing. I don't want to just be speaking to speak. Everything that I do, I want to be used as an oracle of God. And the next part of the verse says, if anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides. This is where I really got convicted because I have been instructed to do some things. I've been um, given the vision, the dream of certain things that I need to achieve in life, certain things that I need to go for and do, the things that God has told me I should do. They doubted the strength that God has provided me with. I did not believe. I know that God has given us strength, you know, but I was underestimating the strength that God has given me. And in this, it says you should do that with the strength of God. And he always gives us strength. He's always there for us. He's continuously strengthening us. And I wouldn't, and I would allow that to stop me. Like I would say, oh, God didn't, you know, he, I'm not that strong. Or he doesn't want me to do that because this and the, that and the other. But that's not the case. And then as, as the verse continues, it says, so that in all things, that God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever. Amen. And I will be honest with you. I had a false humbleness. And um, um, to a certain extent, I'd say. I'm a humble person. Don't get me wrong. But I'd use my humbleness and I'd turn it into a... I'd take my humbleness and I'd use it as a blockade for my fear. I would say, oh, um... I'm humble, so I'm not going to, you know, speak to somebody. I'm not going to post videos. I really did not, I don't, I never really wanted to um, post videos of me singing because I, I would be like, oh, those people who post videos, they're not humble, you know, they're, they're flashy, they're showing off, and that's not what God wants us to do with our gifts. But that's not really what I meant. I meant, like, I was using that as blockade my fear really just allowed me to believe that lie that that is the case and that's far from the case you being humble has nothing to do with you exercising the gift that god has given to you and quite frankly that's something i've been doing i allowed the enemy to just like have that hold on me it's to where i just don't do anything i just stop and I'm not saying that I've like completely stopped ministering, but I've, I've like God would give me it's crazy like He'd tell me to do this, and I'd be like, God, that's a little bit big, you know that that seems a little crazy. He'd be like, No, go do this, and I do it. But recently I've been like, I'm not gonna do that because the task that He's giving me has become a little bit bigger. They've become a little bit more. 
and the like pe more people will notice what um what he's telling me to do like he tell me to do something and more people would I, I don't know how to explain it right now but more people would be there to witness whatever God is telling me to do and I would always use that as an excuse as my humbleness to say that oh I'm being humble I'm not going to not going to go out there and do that I'm not going to go out there and do this and that. whatever the case may be and I'm just like God forgive me because me saying that I was being humble, me claiming that I'm doing the right thing not by not doing what he told me to do, he was supposedly getting the glory when that was not the case. So I just want to encourage you today, just remember that whatever God has told you to do, whatever he's placed on your heart, whatever you feel as if he's called you to do, go forth and do that. Do not allow fear, do not allow doubt to stop you because he knows, he knows what you can and cannot bear and he will never give you more than you can bear. Clearly more than you physically can understand but not more than you can bear because if you lean on him, you have all the strength you will ever need. And that's just, I just just had to share that with you guys first peter chapter 4 and 11 just spoke it just ministered to me it convicted me so much and um i hope this encourages you and this will if first peter 4 11 will definitely be a verse that is in the forefront of my mind because i want to be an oracle of god i want to speak whatever he's told me to speak i want to do whatever he's called me to do and i want to do whatever it is i can do with his strength so he can get the glory so he can get the praise so more people will be drawn unto him because that's the thing I fail to realize. We're not here living our lives for ourselves. We're not here living on the life of the straight and narrow for ourselves. Yes, it is for our own salvation, but it is for us to go and spread that good news with other people. So don't stifle your gift. Be humble. Maintain a, a humble spirit, but do not allow fear to creep in creep in and taint your humbleness because once you do that then you will start to deviate from wherever God is whatever path God has put you on and um just had to share that with you guys and um I don't know what to say oh I just had to get that off my chest I just thank you guys for watching don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with others. There's so much more going to come out of this channel. Um, just join the ride. Just be ready to come along with me as we go through this journey and just doing whatever he wants us to do. No matter how silly it might be to us or how big it might be to us. Do whatever he called you or he's telling you to do. So, Till next time, brothers and sisters.